Hello everyone, Cow your average sim racer here. It is week 10 for season one in 2024 iRacing and we are at the new track finally for the official series. This is Magello or Autodromo di Magello. Um, it's a great track. I, when I first got into sim racing, um, was a set of course, so this was the place where I cut my teeth with online racing for the first time. It's a great track and I uh, used to do the GT3s around here driving the BMW was my car of choice back then and um, it is such a fun track all very technical all about the flow the sausage curves here make it quite interesting um, that curbing there the uh, red and green and white curbing that's your track limit so see if we can cut a fair bit there some of the sausage curves are a bit evil, so just be aware of them. There's a few places where you don't really want to cut because it unsettles the car too much. But again, this is another corner. We're going to cut a heap of that. All right. And, you know, using all this exit here, you can run it right out as long as your inside tyres stay on that red and white curbing. You're safe. So same up here, as long as we keep the inside tyres up on the curb, there's no off track. Obviously... As far as pace goes, that's where the pace is going to be using all of the track. Um, at the moment, I've sort of got into the one minute fifties. I think the quick guys are going to be doing 49s and 48s. But we are on the VRS uh, setup, 72 litres, so full fuel. So this is by no means a hot lap. And even then, I'm still sort of trying to you know, find my pace and my rhythm around here in the supercar. Now this part here, I might mention it early because it's quite important. You want to make sure you're right over to the left, the right there, so you can straight line through that chicane that is taken at full pace. All right, so we're going to break it about the hundred when you're at full pace. Tuck it in, and you're looking to try and extend the straight. You know, get on the gas early, so you can really extend that straight there. On a quality lap, you might even run really wide and high and add that extra distance as well just to try and find a bit more pace down the main straight here. All right, coming into T1, we're going to look to break at about 130. This is probably the biggest braking zone on the track. Nah, but one thing I've found is you've got to be careful because the car wants to rotate if you shift back to second too early. Stay tight over the right here, braking about halfway along this curb. Get the car turning, try and come out as mid-corner there as you can because here, this is a bit of a straight where you can find a bit of pace there. All right, breaking at about 60. We're going to cut this corner fairly heavily. All right, same again. You can cut this one pretty heavy. Use all that exit. This corner here, I'm breaking as soon as I can see a bit of the wide of the corner. It's a bit of a blind corner there. Short shift to fourth. Try and use all this exit. But then lift, because you want to try and get the car tucked in. So you can use all this exit here. Maybe a dab of brake to get it turned in here. This is a bit blind over the rise, so be wary of running wide there. Braking probably just after that uh, path on the left there. Again, another one where we want to make sure we come out mid-track a bit more so we can get on the gas hard. And up here, we're braking inside this uh, second white line. Back to third and probably back to second, just to try and stay tight. Because again, we want to be over here to the right to really open this section out. Cut the corner. Cut the corner and minimal steering inputs and it's full throttle all the way through there. All right, braking at the 100. Getting in, trail braking deep into the corner. So I can get the nose, or keep the nose down so that I can get back on the gas again. All right, let's have a look and see what sort of time we put up here. 51, 51.4, so. <laughs> it's uh, 28 degrees on track. Oh, I'm sure we can find a bit of pace here, because I reckon we gave a bit of pace up in the first corner. Well, not really. Over here. Watch that curbing. Get on the gas. Don't run wide. Sector 
was quick. So maybe we washed off a bit too much speed around the back here. Little dab of brake there, just get it to turn in. Same again, little dab of brake. Getting all that exit there. Cut this one a bit, but see how I've found a bit of pace there. Have I carried enough through? We're up a little bit. I washed off a bit of time there. time this time oh, a little bit too much steering input there and you see the car danced out on me and we actually got a track limit violation then gave up a bit of time in the last corner <laughs> so we're about two and a bit off the pace here from William 3k so look as I said you know I'm still trying to find my feet here trying to work out you know what's going to work for me uh, you know this corner here has been quite tricky I'm still locking brakes there but what we'll do is like always we'll bring this around for a third time and see so we've gone too hot in here how much is that going to compromise us for this corner yeah look at that that's probably a two or three tenths there because I went too deep into the first so much like Suzuka You've got to be a bit careful about how much speed you carry into the first part of some of those chicanes because it really costs you on the exit. Oh, a bit wide there. And we've had the delay getting on the gas as a result. Staying in fourth through all of this section here. But oh, we got away with it. So we can maybe carry a bit more speed there, I would think too. Oh, when you get over that sausage curb, over this one. Right. Okay, and try and see if we can get a good exit here. Keep those steering inputs a minute up too wide. No slow down there though. Alright, so let's bring it around to the pits. It's not too hard a pit entry this one. All right, Andrew, Over here on the right, but it's all about where you're going to slow down. And I reckon you're slowing down about at that line there. That's where you need to break down. You can maybe push it a little bit for, further than that. But as you see there, you know, almost uh, went too fast because I didn't come off the brake a bit early. Go a little bit deeper maybe, but just be wary of that there. Five, um, it's not too difficult. Three, and I don't two, think it's going to be one where one, you really get hit up the right butt, here. but I can see a big train of people following each down. other. And there. So, okay. That's interesting. There's a little bit of damage there, so I think maybe some of those curbs are going to hurt the car, so that's another thing to keep an eye on out there. Alrighty guys, um, there is a quick look at Magello, admittedly not as fast as I probably would have liked, I think I got down into the mid 1 minute 50s uh, when I tried to do this video before and my camera failed, so um, I've had to go and do it all again, but there's a quick look at it, I'm sure if you find some pace uh, somewhere let me know, but um, I'd say we're all going to be working at it and finding pace as the week goes on. Alrighty guys, this is Carrie Average Sim Racer signing off. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so and give that like uh, for the video. It really helps. But otherwise, guys, we'll see you all next time. Cheers.